Okay, folks, we're dealing with a Samsung PN51F8500. This TV powers on and off. It gets three red blinking LEDs afterwards, and then it'll go, it'll repeat the whole cycle. We are going to determine whether it's the main logic board combination is causing the problem or whether it's one of the other boards causing this problem uh, why um, the X or the power supply uh, we've checked all the power supply of output voltages and when the TV does come on those voltages are correct and then the TV gets a signal to shut down and, and it starts to process all over as you see we have a logo smart TV Samsung logo so in order to isolate all the boards from the main and logic board we can try to generate a test pattern and if that works then we know that it's the main board that's the problem and not the logic board if we don't get a test pattern then we know that the main board and the logic board it still needs to be replaced or it could be the Y or X uh, sustains causing the problem so the steps in order to put this in a mode where we can actually test and look for a test pattern set up a test pattern we have to jumper points on the board pin 4 and pin 3 together and so in order to do that we will unplug the power supply we will take a jumper any test clip lead will do and we will connect pin 3 and 4 then we have to force the power supply to come on and we do this with the cable plug and not unplug like in previous TV sets uh, we go to pin number 2 which is power supply on and we take a jumper like so and plug right into the pin slot and then the other end of the jumper will will place on ground anywhere on ground chassis ground I will I will go right here I can go here or I can go to a screw if I wanted to but I prefer to go here Okay, so we're grounded to chassis. We're at pin two of the connector. So next we will power this guy up. Excuse me. Let's see if we get a test pad. TV actually comes on and stays on so that will confirm that our main power supply board is okay it confirms that our X and Y sustain boards are okay and we're not actually generating a color so we know that the T that the control logic control board portion of the main board combination is, is, is okay so basically we have a main board issue and we have to replace the whole main board thanks for watching camera's a little crooked but as you see we're generating all the test patterns with no defects